Less than a week after the deadly siege of the U.S. Capitol, lawmakers want President Trump out of office. But with President-elect Joe Biden being inaugurated into office in just nine days, some are saying, what's the point? McKenna Alexander breaks down the significance of these actions while learning what local political parties have to say on the matter. House Democrats have been preparing multiple ways to remove Trump from office. A unanimous consent request for activating the 25th Amendment has been taken off the table. So House Democrats have moved forward with formally introducing their impeachment resolution, charging President Trump with incitement of insurrection. Beverly Wickstrom, chair of the Eau Claire County Democratic Party, believes this is justified given what occurred at the Capitol last Wednesday. The riots were horribly frightening. Um, they were an assault on very fundamentals of our democracy. And um, it is appalling that in this day and age, they would happen. And the fact that our president and those people that he surrounds himself with would encourage it is just unspeakable. However, Brian Westray, treasurer of the Wisconsin Republican Party, thinks the calls for impeachment are unnecessary when inauguration is just around the corner. That if the Democrats are truly interested in moving forward with any sort of unity, starting their new term of leadership out literally day one with impeachment of a man who is not going to be president in nine days, regardless of anything they do, seems to me to be counterproductive. So with the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden just over a week away, what's the point of impeachment? Wickstrom believes, along with many House Democrats, that doing so sends a critical message. I think if we don't impeach, we send a message to future generations and to other countries in the world um, that we really do tolerate this kind of thing, that we'll give it a pass, and we absolutely cannot have that. But Westray believes that message is hypocritical. The Democrats want to send a message that looting and rioting is wrong. They should have last summer not done things like bailing out people who looted and rioted, which Kamala Harris did, our new vice president of the United States. So it, it's just incredibly disingenuous and, and hypocritical. If the impeachment process ends in Trump's conviction, he'd be removed from office, meaning in the long term, he could then be disqualified from holding federal office in the future. There have also been discussions about whether impeachment proceedings can continue even after President Trump's term is ended on January 20th. According to the U.S. Constitution, House lawmakers are allowed to introduce charges and proceed right into a debate and for a vote triggering a Senate trial that is permitted to take place even after Trump leaves the White House.